So we've got the bale spider. Uh, this color and this color. We've got the master skin, which actually de-hats him instead of hats him, which is kind of nice. Ah, nice colors. Really good job. I like it. Um, let's go for the master skin. Final tint. Thanks, uh, Fig Fig. Okay, so we're gonna kind of see what Gul'dan feels like, what his talents are like. We're gonna try and make a few builds with our provisional information about him. And when we're done with that and we know what Gul'dan is like, then we're gonna play some unranked, quick match, ranked, whatever is possible. I don't know the exact scope of the PTR right now. And I also have a few hero requests after that, which is going to be Gazlo. Uh, as he got uh, a bit of a changes to his talents, as well as after that, ETG, Sonya, and Zeratul. But as we are on the PTR right now, I'm going to request, if my requester, Omega, would like to see Gul'dan first, or Gazla. So we'll check that out. But first of all, let's take a look at the most basic and possibly one of the most important things, which is how do you dance? What are your moves? Oh, well, that's a taunt. Your soul shall be mine. Your soul shall be mine, which is, I guess, pretty appropriate. I thought it was gonna say, "Your soul shall suffer." <laughs> nice moves. All right. Oh, cool. The time has now let's come. look at the talents. First, let's look at the abilities. Fell flame, seventy-five mana, a cone shape, not entirely unlike Medivh's Q, as some people mentioned. But I think that's okay. I don't mind any maximum amount of abilities like this. Feels pretty fluent. Has a very short cooldown, one and a half. Feels very fluent. They probably don't have to do any responsiveness changes here. And it's actually devastating. Gul'dan, of course, is an assassin. And now I can't cast anything anymore. So I've got to use lifetime. It costs 308 life. Thank you for subbing, Yarg. And we can actually use it super fast. So now we've got full. Can you use it same time uh, as uh, your Q? Let's see. It will go in sequence. And you cannot kill yourself, which is really disappointing. <laughs> I was hoping that was possible. But of course, death is near. Death is near. Alright. So that is the Q. And then we've got life drain. So let's try that out by dropping a bit in life. And doing some life tap. And then we will try life drain. That's pretty good healing, and the cooldown is 10 seconds. Suicide is never the answer. Yes, guys, there's a lot to live for. Don't don't go full cooldown. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Now, E, corruption. It is much like... No, it is not like Cho Gaul... Well, I should say Gaul's Dread Orb, where the further you increase the distance, the more space in between. The first aimed point of impact can be at the edge of the circle that you can see when you click on an ability and you don't use quick cast and the others will be exactly behind it and of course you can have multiple hits on a single target and it did 79 damage per hit okay it doesn't seem to do oh yes of course it has damage over time isn't it if only these worthless humans could but strangely enough, die. it's three bursts Shouldn't of damage, count. and normally poison damage reveals itself immediately how much it's going to do total. And this one deals. doesn't, so I find it a little bit deceptive. But let's take a look. Here. It looks like the minion will take a bit of damage from the poison, but it keeps adding more because it's three pulses. So whereas Lunara's poison over 10 seconds will show exactly how much poison damage someone is going to take with the greenish color. This one adds up 
more afterwards. Like that one wasn't gonna take lethal damage and then suddenly it did. And I don't think it's because of the... Yeah, let's look at this. Hmm. A ritual. Oh no, it shows properly. It shows properly. It's sh it just got hit by double wave, that's why. Okay, cool. Right. Let's look at the talents. Pursuit of Flame, hit 40 enemy heroes with Fell Flame and the radius will be increased by 10%. So let's try that out first, see how it looks. A little bit Resident Sleeper, I suppose, because it don't reset that fast. Why can't you see the quest in the bottom left, guys? You have to hover. Ten percent doesn't seem like a lot. It seems like a really best bad quest talent. Of course, it's easy to hit, but it doesn't even increase the damage. Oh. Takes quite a while to stack, and I have cooldown reduction on. <laughs> this feels almost as exciting when I, as when I played World of Warcraft in the beta, and I went full fishing mode. I think I fished up shoes, some fish, some food. Ah. Okay, so it gets a bit wider and a bit greater distance. Take a good look now, and then we compare it to the reset. The talent. Eh, I don't think so. No. Increase the cast range of drain life. What is the cast range? There we go. Okay. Well, that doesn't seem too good Choose either. Talent. Hit 30 enemy heroes with corruption. After the third strike, corruption what? strikes three that times in the opposite direction. Ah. That's pretty good. Or, chaotic energy. A regen globe causes your next basic with a mana cost to refund mana. And your basic ability mana cost are permanently reduced. That seems pretty good. I would say you probably get Echoed Corruption or Chaotic Energy. But this is the one that adds damage. This is just mana health. This realm's power okay, will be let's say Echoed Corruption. And then, if an enemy dies while under the effect of Drain Life, the cooldown is reduced. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, wow, no cooldown. <laughs> no, I still have the no cooldown thing on. That seems pretty bad. Uh, life tap now restores 35% mana instead of 25. That seems pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. Because this will help both with your mana and with your health. This is so good. This basically... What's that... What's that legendary's name in, in Hearthstone? That makes every basic ability better. Uh, Justicar True Heart. Justicar Life Tap. Okay. Consume Soul. Instantly kill... An <laughs> 30 second cooldown. Okay. Let the suffering commence. Hey, that's not bad, actually. Oh, thank you. That is not bad. It has two charges, which it doesn't say, by the way, in the talent. If I didn't know that, it would have really changed the equation. But since it has two charges, and it basically offers instant massive burst heal, by the way. Massive burst heal, boys. Hmm. 
I mean, 520 is 20% uh, of your health. I like that one. But I also like improved life tap. Maybe even more. But they are different enough to merit a legitimate choice. Okay, let's go to level 7. Level 7. Each enemy hero hit with Fell Flame, reminding ourselves that Fell Flame is the Q, will reduce the cooldown of Corruption, which is a 16 second cooldown normally. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Some synergy between talents. Devour the Frail. Drain Life deals 50% more damage to enemies below 50% health. Okay. And you can combine that with Health Funnel. <laughs> it's kind of cool that he preys on the weak. It's very fitting for his lore. Curse of Exhaustion. Upon expiration... Oh, upon expiration, corruption slows enemy movement speed by 50%. Let's try that one. Move, Arthas. Move already, mate. Ah, wow, that took a long time to expire. Jeez, look at that. A very long time, in fact. So it's like, he gets slowed six seconds in. Three stacks. Over six seconds. Yeah, six second delay on a 50% slow. Seems kind of poor, to be honest. But I could be wrong. Increase ability power by 15%, but reduces healing received. <gasps> wow! Way to the fell. Wow, 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 woo, woo. Fifteen percent, boys. Holy from allies. So you will not get reduced healing from consumed soul. Your soul shall suffer. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one. That's the one, boys. You will lose everything. Let's reduce the cooldowns to see what we're really like. Pretty low auto attack damage, 89. Okay, alright. Pretty interesting. Now, level 10, Horrify. After short delay, yes. deal negligible damage and fear enemy heroes in the area for two seconds. Summon a rain of meteors in an area. Okay, let's just see how that looks first. Your time is at its end. Oh yes, it's a channeling. Luckily, we've got life drain. Try again. Hey, I can't. Oh yeah, I can cancel it. Let's actually see how many times we hit something like the target dummy when we just center it there. One, two, three, four. So we hit it four times for 292. Wait, why 292? It says 254. Oh yes, ability power. Lol. Anyway, one. Two, three, four. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. Bear witness One, to the two, master's power. Three, four. Let's do it at the edge. Your time is at its One. end. Two, three. 
Let's do it at the s off center. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five! <gasps> That's it! Just cast it off center. And it hit twice in a row. Did you see that? The shattering is upon you. Huh? <laughs> it didn't hit once! It didn't hit once! Off center. Zero. Your time is at its One. End. <laughs> One. So I just got really freaking lucky the first time. <laughs> So you will hit between zero to five times. <laughs> so stupid. I don't like it. It's it's nonsense. Can you even dodge it? Let's say if you're trying to dodge it. It's too fast to dodge. It's too random to rely on. It has a 500%, no actually infinity billion percent difference. Zero to five hits. Of course, it's zoning, it can hit different people, and so on, but it's weird, it's it's unreliable, it's random, but you know what? How many viewers does Hearthstone have? How many viewers does Heroes of the Storm have? Ergo, uh, cause and effect, and ignoring all other info, people like random effects. Everyone will say that they don't, and everyone secretly likes it anyway. Your time Try to clear a minion wave with it? Okay. Imagine, big catapult minion wave. That's pretty reliable. Try to kill a hero that's running away with it. <laughs> Safe. Alright, let's look at the other heroic. Choose a talent. Oh, you've so got vision of them too. Feeble. Feared. No Arthas the Feared. It casts instantly. And where do they go? It says fear them, but that's it. It doesn't do siege damage. This one seems pretty nice. Should be great against uh, Focus Morales. Alright. Now we go on to level 20. Or level 16 at first. Choose a talent. Fell armor. Hitting an enemy hero with fell flame grants a spell shield, reducing ability damage taken by 30% for 2.5 seconds. They run away from the center. Yeah, that makes sense. Does it only fear them in the direction they are facing? It seems away from the center. Targeted dummy with horrify. Okay. <laughs> That's a great suggestion. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? It's going in the closest direction that it can. This dummy is so afraid right now. Know the true essence of fear. It's not exactly going off center, is it? I think we're having a little bit too much fun with this, so let's go on. Spell shield after fell flame. Harvest life used more when on heroes. Dark bargain. Your maximum health is permanently increased by 25, but you're de <gasps> Wow! 3k health. 3.8. But when you die, plus 15 seconds. And by the way, does this scale with level yes or no? 15 seconds. Choose a talent. Choose a talent. 15 seconds. So it's worst at level 13, but then it gets more and more forgiving by comparison. Relatively speaking. Relatively speaking, Dark Bargain gets more forgiving. Though, of course, it is still pretty damn significant to leave your team without you for 80 seconds. 65 plus 15. Hmm. Healthstone. 
Activate to heal for 30%. Really? Oops. Instantly, 1088. So if you combine Health Stone with Consume Soul, how much can you actually heal all at once? The Consume Soul. Hunger for power. Sure. Horrify. Health Stone. So let's say you're damaged and you're like, da da da, full life. You're almost dead, double consume soul health stone, and you're fine, full life. That's a pretty strong interaction. You combine that with hunger for power so that you don't need nothing from nobody. You're an independent warlock. Well, not entirely independent, you still need the demons. And then you give up, what? Max health. Train life. Actually, this is all survivability. That's pretty crazy. You're almost dead, yes. and then suddenly, with the minions and the health stone, you're fine. So let's keep that in mind as a broken combo, possibly. Fell flame's damage is increased by 6% for 5 seconds when hitting on an enemy hero, and this can stick, stack up to 5 times. I will not and if I'm not denied. mistaken, 5 times 6 is 31%. 30%, just kidding. Okay, that's pretty strong. Corruption deals an additional 171 on impact, and the impact... 491. Okay, it has no impact damage. It has only damage over time at the moment. So it deals impact damage, and if the enemy is hit by all three strikes, in other words, if you're against IQ 55ers, the third strike deals... Super impact damage. Well, that's never ever going to happen. <laughs> I couldn't even hit it on the bot. Oh, come on. That's... No. Anyway, after using life tap, the next ability you cast has increased... Yes. Yes. Let the commence. Yes. That's Mine that's it. Is the only way. Even even Horrify at level twenty can do three fifty five damage with that much ability power. Twisted beyond recognition. Try the burst combo with your alt so they can hit through. Oh, shoot clever guys. Okay, let's try that. Um, boop, 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 boop. yes. Rain life, fell flame. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get it. I get it now. Hmm. I get it. I will not be denied. Perfect. Maybe the target dummy is too slow. Know the true essence of fear. Your mind so evil. Spineless cowards. Yes. Run weakly. Run. Spineless cowards. Oh yeah, we got it. 587 at the end. That 
was a mistake. Yeah, we got it. So it's possible, but it's difficult. Mine is the Of course, there should not be a bush behind them. Well, it's possible, but it's difficult. Pretty cool. Uh, and then, finally, at the final level, increase duration of Horrify by a second, and feared enemies also become vulnerable. Cool. Pretty strong. Demonic Circle. Summon the Demonic Circle at your location. Activate to teleport to the Demonic Circle. How far can you go? My talents would be a better use can anyone kill that? Oh, by the way. We didn't see this before. <laughs> Instant! And it has no cooldown. I will not be denied. Wow. I don't know why, but his movement speed feels slow to me. Oh, it has no cooldown because of the cooldowns? Ah, you can summon as many portals as you like, but the te teleportation has a cooldown. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Rain of Impact also slows enemy movement speed by 90% for half a second. So let's just try that one. And then we'll know. Move it. <laughs> it didn't seem that amazing, but let's see. Move into it, please. Your time is at its end. Well, I'm not hitting him right now, so that's kind of unlucky. <laughs> I Move! Hit it! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him before he kills me! Beautiful. It's bad, I think. <laughs> Half a second is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> that is not enough. Anyway, that's cool done. And what are you looking at? Pretty RNG. I can just feel the hatred of 10,000 noobs casting that ability and getting dived on like hell, getting zero hits on the opponent. We will go for health stuff. 